Another thing that you can do inside 3D Code is that you can paint onto a polygonal mesh inside of Photoshop or any other external editor that supports the PSD format. Okay, so let's just demonstrate that here. Let's, oh, I don't know, let's go to the left side view and turn on orthographic projection here. Uh, you can do that with numerical 4, that'll go to the left side. And numerical 5 will turn on orthographic. So, let's go up here to edit. Edit projections in external editor. You can also edit your layers too, which will lay them out flat. Uh, but we want to edit a projection. So, click that and there you have it. We can now see our our mesh inside of 3D code. It, now, this is just a projection, projection so it's not actually a mesh. It's just that. It's a projection. It's a 2D image here. Let's go over to our layers. And we don't want to edit any of these here. Uh, we need to create a new layer. So let's go ahead and do that. New layer. And uh, let's just do a little bit of brushing here. Let's select the, oh, I don't know, brush tool work just fine. And let's scale it up a little. Uh, that'll work. Okay. Let's pick some random color. Oh, I don't know. Let's use the color picker. Oh, let's see. Let's go with a blue. Why not? All right, so I'm going to just paint on this guy's head here. I know this isn't probably the best demonstration. Uh, you know, as far as, uh, artistic abilities, but I'm, I just want to show color here and how you can use Photoshop and get this stuff on over. Let's select another color. Let's just go some bright red. Let's go ahead and do a line right across the neck here. Oh, uh, let's go ahead and just paint the whole front as well. All right, so something like that. That'll work, right? Okay, so now if we go back over to 3D Coat, it will automatically sync up. So there you have it. Look at our layer. Let's make sure it painted onto layer one, and it did. All right, there you go. And it does have a little bit of uh, area not covered where it was crossing over the symmetry plane. So there you go. That's how you can use Photoshop to help you paint. Again, you can also use masks in Photoshop. Let's go back over. You can use masks in Photoshop. Any tool that you have available to you in Photoshop is at your disposal to paint textures on your mesh.